The black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. It's been months since I killed the Empress, but it feels like only seconds ago I heard her yelling for her daughter, Emily. Corvo's face going slack with shock, and somewhere in my head the outsiders laugh. Come to collect on our debt, did you ever think you deserved to lose your Empress? That a better man took her life, while you gaped like a fool? Come on, Corvo. Prove me wrong. Thomas has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. They fought a brave fight, idiots. Maybe their deaths will teach the living. The Abbey never changes. I wonder why their oracles fail to warn them. Does your power ward us, I wonder? Maybe they saw it and chose not to say anything. 
The Overseers walk straight up to our gates. I hope we'll have a better plan at Brigmore. Delilah didn't finish us off while we were down. I never make that mistake. Blew up a whole slaughterhouse where we get the whale oil. Won't that irritate the Lord Regent? Indeed. We could turn doubt in, split the reward. You did right, sir. That witch had to die. That witch was twice the fighter you'll ever be. I owe you for this one, Delilah. We'll start again in a minute. Just listen. This business for the witches. There's no pay in it. No prestige. Don't. Let's go over Dowd's teachings again. Forget it. Dowd's getting older. He's getting strange. And if no one else will take him on, don't even think it. You want to wake up dead? Dowd. Ever vigilant, I see. Are we leaving soon to Brigmore? Scared, are you? Witches upriver. Traitors in the ranks. And then there's Dowd. Who just killed his own apprentice. A better assassin than you'll ever be. I'd be frightened too. This will hold while we're away. Anything short of cannon fire. Let's hope it won't come to that. Corvo's coming for us, Dowd. And he's got nothing but blood on his mind. You let me worry about that when the time comes. If it comes. Send some of us to finish off the Royal Protector. I'd rather face him head on. We have bigger targets to consider right now. Corvo didn't turn one of our own against us. He didn't send overseers into our backyard. Delilah did. If Corvo... Maybe you should do something more useful than standing by this window pissing your pants about Corvo. As you wish. I've made a mess of the access ways, but it had to be done. If I come back, I'll take it all down. Somebody will. And they can burn those overseer drapes while they're at it. Thomas finished his scouting run. When you've talked to him, I'll give you the latest word from inside the prison.
I found Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Excellent. Lizzie has enemies inside Coldridge. If we play this right, she'll be begging to do business with us. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? <laughs>